Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. We're going to do a new series on trunking. And this series is going to show you how to add simple trunking uh, using ISDN PRI. Okay, because that's a typical uh, circuit that's out there that you can get and that a lot of customers have. You can do SIP, you can do other types, but we're going to focus on ISDN PRI. And the way to do this is you can have the hardware. And the way you check your hardware is config all. And you can see I'm using an S8300, and you can see I have two DS1 boards available to me. And we're going to use this first one here, 001V2, for our uh, exercise. And to do this, uh, you add the DS1, but when you add it, you got to make sure your circuit's there, or at least you know what your circuit's being delivered to you as from your carrier, whether it be Verizon, AT&T, Quest, whoever, right? But we're going to assume my circuit's already been installed. I've waited this 45 to 60 days. It's been installed. I get B8ZS. It's IST and PRI network, um, and I can, I can add it, all right? So let's say I've connected my circuit to my, my Paradigm CSU or my integrated CSU, but since this is an 8300, I'm going to use a Paradigm CSU uh, for this example. So to add a DS1, you add the DS1 and the board location. Boom, there you go. So we're going to call this um, trunk circuit 1. I'm just being very generic here. Bit rate's 1.544. Um, the way I got it, the way I ordered it was V8ZSESF. Remember, it's an ISDN PRI. And if you go up here and you select help, you can see the five different modes that are available to you for a DS1. Um, remember, use the documentation for, for detailed specifics on these different signaling modes. But again, I'm showing you a basic on how to get your trunking set up if your circuit's the same kind of framing as mine. Country protocol, North America. Um, the protocol version, this is very important dependent upon who you get your circuit from. Um, I'm sorry, not country, not North America. Country Protocol 1 is for the United States. Uh, the protocol version A, there's different types of possible values you can have because if AT&T gives you a 5 ESS or they give you NI1 or NI2, which is Telecordia, uh, Nortel, also known as DMS, you got to find out what protocol version they're giving you or what type of switch you're connecting to. Um, uh, you have four available options to you, A, B, C, and D. If one doesn't work, try the next one. If that one doesn't work, try the next one. You, you got a 25% chance, and you can hit it. Um, everything else we're going to leave alone. One important thing to note on here is your, your near-end CSU type. If this is an S8300 and you have a G650 or some kind of gateway that you're using the traditional TN type circuit packs, and you have an integrated car or an integrated uh, CSU, you put integrated here because that tells the PBX that you're using a CSU that it recognizes. Um, since I'm using a paradigm, I'm going to say other. I leave everything else alone, and you're set to go. Your your circuit pack is or your DS1 is now added. Display DS1 001 V2, and there it is. Okay. Um, once you connect it up, you can then move on to adding your trunk, your signaling group, and testing for however your circuit's configured, whether it's going to be inbound DIDs or it's a tie trunk, anything like that. But this is how to show you to get, get your trunking set up. This is part one, which is adding your DS1, and it's that simple. Once you're, once you're done, move on to trunking uh, part two, which is going to be the signaling group. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.